a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Byron Wordsworth. Jenny and Jackson, working through the night till the rising sun. <laughs> Look at the time. Time to go home. Are we all packed up? Yeah? Okay, come on, let's get home. Come on, Jade. There you go, that's good. Story makers. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hi, story maker. I'm Byron. Byron Wordsworth, here to make some magic and lots of stories. Look at all these funny things. Yes, I know. The children were baking today mm. and I watched them. Oh, but you can't eat them. You can't eat these things. No. no. Those are the things for baking with. Yeah. Mm. Oh, what do they all do? I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, I, I think you mix things up in this. Oh, yes, that's a bowl. Yeah, oh, yes, a bowl. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say that. Yeah, a a yeah. bowl. Oh, yeah, mm. but what's this holy thing? That, mm? um, well, I think mm? you pour the flour through that. Oh, yeah. well, mm. why? Um, to get rid of the lumps. Oh, mm. Uh, mm. can't you use lumps in baking? Oh, no, I don't think so, but uh, I've never done any baking. <gasps> oh, Jackson, what? let's do some baking now. Yeah, Could yeah. We? Yes, come on. Uh, but, but, but we don't know how. Oh, oh, it's okay. It isn't difficult. I suppose not. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, mm. yeah, what do we do first? Well, I, uh, 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 I yeah. suppose we, we put the flour in the bowl. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, oh, Jilly? Yeah? Uh, how much should I put in? Um, uh, well, three. Three. Yeah. Three, three what? Uh, um, shushes. Three shushes. Okay. Yeah. Shush. Yeah. One, one shush, two, two, shush, three, shush. Big yeah. one. Oh, what do we do now? I don't know. Oh, I know. <laughs> we can put those um, eggs in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, eggs, yes. Yeah. Uh, how many eggs. eggs do you think we should put in, Jelly? Oh, I mm. don't know. You choose. Um, yeah. I think two, yes. One for me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and one for you, Jelly. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Oh, what do we do now? Um, well, I suppose we mix it all up. Yes. Oh, Here we go. Uh, mm -hmm. Mix, mix, mix. Mm -hmm. Mix, 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 mix. Uh, Jelly. What? It, uh, it looks a bit funny. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. Hi, Jax. Hi. Uh, Byron. Yes, We're Bell? baking. Oh, are you my green dreams? Yes, we are. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. oh, aren't we? What are you baking? Uh, uh, well, we're not quite sure. Uh, it's, uh, it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, well, now I can see uh, you're busy. Oh, yes, we're But busy. I was just wondering yes. uh, if you could spare the time to come and help me make a story. Um, oh, yes, okay, Byron. Uh, yeah, Byron. What about the baking? Uh, it's all right, Jackson. I'll be back soon. Yes. Mm. Yeah, won't I? You yeah. Will, Jess, uh, yes. We can use this holy thing to make a story, oh, Byron. Very good, Jels. Yeah. <laughs> it's for the lumps, you know. Mm. Time to get this mean machine working. <laughs> I think it's going to need a lot of imagination. <laughs> yes, join in with the magic words. Imagine. Imagine. 
Imagine, imagine a story. I hope it has a holy thing in it. Yeah. Oh, it's a barnacle rock story. And it's called Wee. Once upon a tide at Barnacle Rock, Electra was doing her morning stretching exercises when she saw a silverish arm lying on the sand. Oh, eek, eek, it's a silver grubber monster! Oh, help, help, help grubby me, grubby man! Chimed the barnacles, waving their arms around wildly. Electra called a meeting in the seaweed. There's a grabber monster. It's silvery and shiny with an horrible long arm for, for grabbing. And it's over there on that rock. Ellie swam over to take a closer look at the strange creature on the rock. It doesn't look very nippy to me, said Ellie. Look at its body. She giggled. It's full of holes and it's sort of scoopy. Littley swam up. It looks like fun, Dad. Chortled Littley, and she jumped straight onto the monster's scoopy body. Oh, its long arm tipped up. Ellie jumped onto the monster's long arm, and Littley went flying through the water. Oh, oh, come back, Chuck! cried Electra. Littley swam back, looking very pleased with herself. Yeah, somebody jump on the arm. I want to go. Chuckled Gruff, who was sitting in the scoop. I will. Giggled Littley, but she wasn't heavy enough. So Ellie and Harry jumped too, and Whee! Gruff went flying. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you the amazing Zing Zing Underwater Acrobat! Boomed Popper Clam. Here comes Ellie the Jellyfurus Jellyfish! Jelly, jelly, jelly. <laughs> Gruff jumped on the arm. <laughs> Ellie went flying! <laughs> Papa Clam laughed so loud that the seabed shook. I have never seen anyone have so much fun with a sieve. <laughs> oh, oh, shouted everyone. A sieve, I say, a sieve. The people up top use them to get the lumps out of things. The smooth bits fall through those whatchamacall holes and the lumps get left in the scooby bit. Is somebody calling me a lump? Grumbled Gruff, who was sitting in the sieve. <laughs> Everyone laughed. <laughs> That's the end of our acrobatics for today. Giggled Ellie. <laughs> 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 Oh, Jackson, that looks great! Oh, do you think so? Yeah, I do! Mm -hmm. Just look at the lumps! How's the cooking, Jacks, my man? Mm -hmm. Ah, brilliant, Barry. Look! Ah! Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, very good. Yeah, mm. well, just look at the lumps! Now, yeah. Are they supposed to be in there? Mm. Mm. I like lumps. Oh. Yeah. Well, what's this? What? What? Um, um, it looks like eggshell. <gasps> Jax, my man, you're supposed to take the eggshells off the eggs before you cook with them. <laughs> It'll be finished in a minute. <laughs> Jackson's very good at this. <laughs> yeah, so I see. Right, now, I just need to cook it, but um, oh, I can't find the cooker. No, any... yeah, the librarian uh, packed it away. Mm. Well, that's all right, my friends. The man with the cake says, Abracabate. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's <You> hot. Cooked <laughs> it. Yeah, how, how did, did you, you do, do that? that? <laughs> Magic. Oh. <laughs> Would you like a bit, Byron? Uh, no, thanks, Jack. So they might have spoiled my appetite. Okay, uh, <laughs> jelly. Check in. Um, oh, no, 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 thanks. Um, uh, uh, um, um, oh, maybe we can uh, put it in the story machine, if oh, you like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, oh, Byron, mm -hmm. do you think the story machine will like my baking? Uh, 
bound to you, Jax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now this is going to need some imagination. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Seem to like Jackson's cake. Oh, it's a playbook. And it's called A Temple Visit. This is our temple. We meet here to pray together. Tonight, we are celebrating Diwali, the festival of light. We each light a candle before we go inside. The flames flicker and dance and make the dark nights bright. Inside the temple, we cover our heads and take off our shoes. We wash our hands. And then we pray. Our priest waves a long feathery whisk called a chowry over our holy book. And our smooth, silky headscarves are called dupatta. The temple is filled with the sound of hymns. The free throng of the tabla drums and the wheezy hum of harmoniums. Delicious food smells drift from the langer hall where we eat together. Small balls of dough are kneaded and rolled and cooked until they're just right. They're called chapatis. We rub them with butter and they taste delicious. Mmm, yummy. We eat lentils and yogurt, curry with potatoes and peas, and, of course, our jipatis. What a feast! It's the end of our visit for tonight, and as the temple lights shine out, we say goodbye. Oh, wow. Now, mm. I didn't know they ate at the temple, too. Mm. And those jipatis, they looked delicious, didn't yeah, they? Yes, they looked quite like my cooking. <laughs> mm. uh, come and try my delicious cake. What mm. cake? Oh, it looks like the swell gel's been doing more cooking. <laughs> Let's investigate. <laughs> mm. uh, do you want a cherry on your Oh, Simon? yes, please, Jo. <gasps> Jelly? Yeah. They look delicious. Mm. I didn't know you could bake as well. I can do lots of things. Mm. Yeah. Look, mm. mm. no, Jackson, what? you mustn't eat it. Oh, I mustn't. No, no, no. it's not real. Oh. Yeah, it's only play doh. Mm. Oh. I look delicious. Yeah, but I'm hungry. <laughs> My belly's rumbling too. Mm. I bet it's not as loud as mine. Oh, wow. Mm. This calls for some fast finger work. Mm. abra Oh, oh clever baby. Mm. They look yummy. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, why don't we have a story whilst we eat these? Oh, yes. We can make a story with my cake. Oh. Yeah. You know what, Gels? It's the story machine's lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use mine. <laughs> in it goes. I hope there are cakes in this story. Are you ready to help? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. What's it going to be? Oh, it's a blue cow story. And it's called Blue Cow Bakes a Cake. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. 
One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, blue cow smelt the delicious smell of fresh baking carried on the breeze. I wonder what it's like to bake a cake. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a cake baking place, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a kitchen. And then they arrived. Boo! this looks like a baking sort of place, said Blue Cow, looking at the kitchen table. Laid out on it was a recipe book, along with eggs, butter, sugar, flour and baking powder. Just then, two children came running into the kitchen, followed by an old lady. Hello, I'm Blue Cow. I wonder if I could help you with your baking. Oh, if you like, said the old lady. But you'll have to wash your hooves first. Hello, said the little boy. I'm Tom. This is my sister Lucy. And this is my granny Alice. Come on, called Granny. I need someone to break the eggs and mix the ingredients. Mooey, mooed Blue Cow enthusiastically. And she cracked the eggs into the bowl, shells and all. Oh dear, said Tom. Now some flour. Blue Cow tipped in the whole packet. Whoops, said Lucy. And now just a little bit of baking powder to make the cake rise. <laughs> Blue Cow poured in the whole tin. Then she added the butter and sugar and stirred it all round. Dear me, said Granny. That's not quite what I meant. Moo, eh, sorry. Never mind, said Granny, putting the cake into the oven. Almost immediately, the mix just started to rise. It grew and grew. It grew so big that it soon burst out of the oven and then out of the house, and still it kept on growing, with Blue Cow and Granny and the two children stuck on the top. Finally, it stopped. Moo dear, said Blue Cow, looking at Granny. Ah, well, I've got enough cake now to last me a lifetime. <laughs> You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been baking an enormous cake. Everyone knows that cows can't bake cakes. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> Bye, Ben. <laughs> can I make a real cake now? Oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. Gels. Yeah. Oh. oh, look, yes, Jelly. Yes, it's getting light. Mm. We better skedaddle. But the children will be coming to the library soon. <laughs> Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. <laughs> story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, Come back story soon. Makers, Bye. Thanks for helping. See you later, story maker. <laughs> <laughs>